I need some more used dental floss because my glasses are broken. It is rough. The last leg of the journey to Provo to Turks and Caicos. My dad just spilled all his tea everywhere. Hot tea everywhere. Trash cans are tipping over, toasters are falling, bags are falling. Here's our 8 a.m. update. We left my iguana about an hour and 20 minutes ago. It's rough. It was really rough back there a few miles. It calmed down a little bit, but it's still pretty rough. Everything was falling over, tipping over. This is the last leg of a journey. We gotta go about another 35 miles to get to Provo, which is Turks and Caicos, Providencialis. This is part of the adventure though. We haven't seen a blue marlin in three days. We don't wanna make it four. Hopefully we catch one today or at least see one. Um, we'll be in there today. We're gonna unload, we gotta get COVID tests, get the freezer off the boat, get all the bait off the boat, clean up the boat. You know, I haven't been cleaning in a week. We're out of fresh water in the sink and the water system. We got water to drink, but uh, just enough to hopefully get there and take some showers tonight. We'll get water at the dock. We'll see you guys there and we'll show you the marina and uh, hopefully have some good, more, some good fish in here the next few days after we take a day off because we got to recover for a day and clean up this mess. Land ho! Coming up on Provo. Four days, no bites. No bites, but he's coming. There's one coming any minute. We can see Provo. We've been on the boat seven days. We anchored out four nights. We ran out of fresh water this morning. Kind of lucky we didn't take showers tonight on it. There's Turtle Cove Marina, that's where we're going. Scott's got us 99% of the way. We just gotta go one more mile. Have not had a blue marlin bite in four days. Lots of seaweed out there, made it really tough for trolling. I was snagging all the lures on the baits, on the teasers. A little frustrating, but uh, we're getting there. It's windy, it's blowing 25 knots, and it looks windy the next few days. But hopefully we'll still have some more fishing adventures for you. The girls are flying in a couple of days, and my brother's flying in tomorrow. So we gotta see you on the island and see what happens. Welcome to the Catch 22. because of COVID. We have to get tested. All right, we're at the fuel dock. Here we go. I'm uh, cleaning the boat up after five days on anchor. She got significantly dirty, dirty so much soap made it slick in the, in the water because how much dirt was built up on the boat. But we're getting back to normal. Hopefully we'll have time to relax tomorrow that by being on everything tonight. We're sitting here waiting for customs to get here. We got to get a COVID test. Not sure how long it's going to take, but hopefully it's here soon so we can get off the boat and away from all these people I've had to deal with for so long. As much as I want to spend time with them, I'd really rather spend not spend time talking to somebody else. And uh, like me, getting the boat back to normal. So Foster and Tyler are washing the boat. I think Tyler did most of the work. Foster just took the credit. But uh, we're waiting on COVID test. It's been an hour and a half. They said they'd be here within the hour. Hope they show up in the next hour or two. But we won't get the test results back until tomorrow, it sounds like, or late tonight. And then we still have to clear customs, so we will be stuck here at this dock. We cannot get off the boat. It could be as much as 24 hours, so keep that in mind if you're traveling. It's not easy yet. We got some elephant tuna we're gonna cook up. I'm excited about that. We got some filet mignons we're gonna cook up as well. A little steak dinner. We're getting ready. Liz is ready to eat, ready to cook. Jamie's gonna help cook as well. We should blast them. We're gonna blast them. Let's blast them. Hit him with that blaster, because if you ain't blasting, then you ain't lasting. There you go, Foster's <laughs> got it down. You could imagine, you know, on this boat for the last five days, I getting it clean, you know, four nights on anchor is the fifth day and has not seen fresh water. So it's pretty dirty, but they're getting it cleaned up pretty nice. There's the steaks thawing out for dinner. Get I'm thawing some... out in the sun, Nick. Yeah, you warming up? Can I do some blasting? There you go. Should I shake it? You gotta shake it. Yeah, shake it up. PV lube. All right, these are our tools. Went all the way to shore. 
clean conch with them. Salty. Got us here. Make them last. We're getting our COVID test. Time for our COVID test. Scott, how do the COVID test feel? Hang on. Do <laughs> uh, you like it? I like, I need a KY. <laughs> oh, touch the brain. That's me. Woo! How'd it feel? Watch out, are you ready? Oh gosh. Stand by the ready now. Right. Ready for right right um, sure sure Nothing new. Who's next? Foster, go ahead. I like turtles. Did you enjoy it? Yeah, it was fun. Roy, come on in so we know you're done. Get your passport. Go get Foster. Foster? That's not a be good. Go deeper. Get his brain. Uh, good luck with that one. That good luck with that one. <laughs> Is there any brains in there? Good job, Foster. <laughs> High five. High five it up. Yeah. Is it tickle or burn? Crying, Foster. <laughs> Alrighty, I got swabbed in the nose. We're gonna give him some elephant tuna for stopping by. Do that. Jamie. Go get him, Jamie. Go get it, Jamie. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Good. Yes. Thank you. My brain has been plunged. There you go. We just paid fourteen hundred ninety-five dollars for our COVID test. Seven of them. Holy smokes! Okay, now we. He just paid. It's his vacation. Did that hurt? What? That was expensive. It's free at any hotel. So if you stay at a hotel, it's free for the COVID test. If you come in via boat and have to clear in $1,495, and we still can't get filled tomorrow, we're not clearing via customs. Alrighty. What's your passport? It was expensive. He got some fresh elephant tuna. I did a good job. It's expensive though. We have got some fresh elephant tuna, guys. We are excited. We hit it with a little bit of sesame seed oil, plain and simple. A little bit of pork and poultry rub. We're gonna throw this on the grill. We made it to Turks and Caicos. Caught this elephant yesterday morning. Just didn't have time to cook it yet. Jamie seasoned some up uh, his little recipe as well. But we got steaks going on the grill. We got yellowfin tuna. We got some vegetables. We are in Provo. We're waiting to clear in customs. We'll see you for dinner in a little while. Hit it with some Pam for us. A little bit more. Fresh yellowfin tuna. I can't wait to eat this. Ooh, that's good. So that's one piece there. And then Jamie seasoned some up as well. His secret recipe, but He's going to share that, save that for another video, he said. Both look good, though, and both are going to taste good. All right, here we go. Time to flip it. Wow. Uh, this is like a triangular piece, so we're going to stand it up next on this side. We'll stand this one on that side. Oh, boy. That is hot. Good sear marks in there. Just giving it like a minute and a half, two minutes on each side. That's a pretty thick piece of tuna. The last piece won't be as long, or last flip, but uh, it's coming along good. Three more minutes, we'll be good. The final flip. Here we go. This little piece here. Flipping that like that. Oh boy, starting to stick a little bit. There we go. Look at that. And that grill gets hot. It got to 450 in about two, maybe not even 10 minutes, I feel like. And the heat coming off it is hot. The smoke's coming off too. Absolutely gorgeous though. In Provo at Turtle Cove Marina at the field dock. Can't get off the boat due to COVID restrictions. Waiting on uh, customs tomorrow morning, but we're tied up and we made it here safely. Sunset going down over the blue hills on the Northwest Point. Time has come, time to get up the grill. Now, if you guys could smell that, you could smell deliciousness, but I don't think you can smell it, unfortunately. Both of these are gonna be absolutely delicious. We're gonna put these in the fridge and kind of let them cool down and we're gonna slice it thin. We got some Filet mignon steaks going on that grill. We're having our first feast tonight that we've had in a few days, like surf and turf style. All right, look at these filet mignons. Jamie cooked up on the grill. They look delicious. Got some asparagus, but we got some tuna to go with them. I'm gonna slice this up and we cooked it. We're gonna eat it cold. I overcooked it. Oh well. I hope you guys like 
Hope you guys like medium well done tuna. It'll still be good, but it got overcooked. Look at it flaking apart there. This is a disaster. I, I kiboshed it. We have got well done tuna, guys. Whoops. Not always perfect. <laughs> Be Are you showing pictures of your dog? Is he showing dog pictures? Yep. Like he has a little dog he shows pictures of. Falcon. Well done, tuna. Hopefully the steaks are better than that. Look at those steaks, asparagus. Looks delicious. Who's up first, Liz? Yeah. There's ginger, wasabi, there's corn, mac and cheese. All right, let's get my dad's steak first. There you go. There's a plate for him. He's got to get the first plate. You don't want to eat the tuna? <laughs> you did pay the bill. That's my official title on the bill. Do you want any tuna, Dad? Do you want any what, uh, yeah, gonna, steak sauce? I'm going to get my tuna to Scott. All right, we're getting Fosty C. His dinner served because he's been working hard. I think Tyler worked harder, but he's going second. All right, Foster, here you go. You now, you try that tuna, and you tell if it's edible. I know it got cooked a little more than we wanted, but it is what it is. Great bounty. I appreciate it. All right, is this it. Scott's over here? Yes, sir. Scott, do you want to try the tuna or not really? Yeah, I do. Do you want the more rare piece? Yeah, All right, this is Jamie cooked this one. I don't get, well, that's Jamie's seasoning. I don't get credit for that one. Do you want soy sauce, Scott? Yeah. All right, Foster, say a prayer for us. Good job, Foster. Foster, said a prayer for us. The grill marks on that steak is just amazing. Foster, did you try the tuna yet? It tastes like cooked fish. I mean, I do like a little bit more raw, but it is still amazing. It's fresh out. Okay. So it's still edible? Yeah, it's good. Yeah, it's, it's, not, it's not dried out. All righty. I'll tell you what's good that steak looks good yeah, there. Steak's medium. All righty, here we go. This is so good. I at least got to try a bite of elephant for y'all. And it did get overcooked, I'm not going to lie. Not the first time I messed up dinner, it won't be the last. It's still good, just tastes like well done tuna. Scott, thanks for getting us here safely. We made it to Provo. Went through a lot of rough water. Yay, good job, Scott. Rough waters. <laughs> We're still on the boat, haven't cleared customs yet. We're, We're still waiting. Test. Still waiting. Hopefully by 9 o'clock, Jimmy Edelman will get an email. There's been no real drama on the boat so far, so I'm very thankful about that. Yeah, we thought Foster might jump ship and leave us on a different island. We're getting back to eating dinner, though, so. So we've been here almost 20 hours. We have not cleared customs yet. We just got all our COVID tests uploaded, all the travel insurance policies. It was an absolute nightmare, to be honest with you. Um, we actually had to buy another set of insurance because they didn't accept our first one. So here we go. Foster's looking for some screws. The uh, hatch in the bow is leaking water into the anchor hatch. There's a street sign that Scott found. It's been up there for years. Someone bent it. So on the way over here, we're taking waves over the bow. And the water was leaking all over the bed, so it's still wet. Let's go check it out. Tyler's up there working on it. It's not easy. Oh, he got it off finally. So. <laughs> This is the cruise quarter. This is where Foster and Tyler have been sleeping. But there's a sign that had a street sign because water, you know, it's so rough. We're taking waves over the bow. It comes into the anchor hatch right here. It lifts up. And we had a metal sign here. But uh, Rob was working on the boat and he bent it a little bit. And it was water was just pouring in here. So the bed's actually still wet from about four days ago on this corner. Tyler's beating it now, trying to get it straight. We're going to use some 4200, which is similar to 5200, a little bit different. Um, above the water line, we use 4200 usually. So he's gonna glue that back in from the outside. That way water does not come through here, into here. And then hopefully in the next couple hours, customs will be here, we'll be cleared in. It will be a 24 hour process, I'm guessing, before it's over. Here we go. My towing sign. Oh, it's... <laughs> Keeps me dry. There you go. My bed has been wet, been right over. It's booming here. So that's how you fix the leaky. Right. Hatch, huh? 4200. 4200 and aluminum sign. <laughs> Fosty? We're almost cleared in. Cannot wait. Cannot wait. Get away get from the you. Boat. We cannot get off the boat. We are not allowed off the boat. Dock is right there. Sweet. The bad news is half your 4200 came off. I'm going to send it. If it leaks, not my fault. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. I caught some grunts off the bridge the other day and I was really proud of that. Nice. Good job, guys. All right, here we go. You gotta have acetone or denatured alcohol. Get it. Get it? Go outside, don't touch any wood. It, that is the most evil stuff they ever invented. I'm serious. It gets on everything. <laughs> It'll jump off your hands. We almost got it all off. 
Blast him again one more time. Hit him with that blaster. There you go, looks good. What do you want, more paper towels? Yeah, rub it in. There you go, clean it up. Hit him with that blaster. <laughs> good job, Foster. And then you hit him with that blaster. Right, that's enough. Blaster. Hey, at least it worked. Could be poison. Foster, customs finally show up? Yes, finally. 22 hours? 22 yeah. hours. Oh, I guess 22. Stuck, Stuck with, with the Stanzix. <laughs> <laughs> Scott. 22 and a half hours we were cleared into Turks. We can finally get off the boat and get fuel. We couldn't get fuel before that. The pressure. I've never released. been more happy. That's all I gotta say. How's that bagel? Tastes like freedom and dry land. There you go. Get in the rental car. The battery's dead. Here we go. Liz, what happened? They got in the car, the van, we rented, started it up, battery's dead. Didn't start. Did not start. We switched cars. We're moving now. Here we go. What's the name of the car? It's named Fokker. Fokker. We're in the Fokker mobile. <laughs> We're at one of the most famous places in Turks, in Provo here, the Conk Shack. We came for the crack Conk lunch. We're finally off the boat and uh, on dry land. And it is windy. It's blowing 25 to 30 knots. Oof, it's windy. Very few places you can get conch fresh like this. It's going to be delicious. You no longer get it back where we're from, the Florida Keys. If you look over there, you'll see an array of conchs, every kind of conch imaginable. And of course, the Caicos banks are, are known for that worldwide. Hungry, waiting on lunch. Is it tough? What's your name? Wesley. Good to meet you. I'm Nick. <laughs> and you? Nick. Nick. Yeah. Which um, one do you like, Nick? I like the noisemaker one. Okay. Maybe. Let me keep looking, though. We're just getting started here. Uh, okay. This is, I don't that's wanna... my stuff now. Okay. All this is yours or no? Yes. That's mine. We okay. Everybody said Okay. If you have something in my stuff, you can let me know. I give you good points. Okay. Look at this one. Beautiful shells here. Yeah. Beautiful water behind you, too. And I have this small one. How much is the one, the one that you blow the noise on? So this one is expensive. I sell it $45. I want to see him blow that. Now noise. she already blew it. So I want you to blow it. She already made the noise. No, you can try. If you oh, want. I want you try to try. Come on, way. try, Nick. You can do it. You're try. a conch. You're born in a conch. Lack if you can do this, you go to Key me. West. Conk. Yeah, she's showing you how. Come on. Close your mouth and put some booze inside. Nothing. Close. Nothing. Can't Close. Do it. Nothing. Look at it. Nothing. You're not close. Try. You Come try on, Nick. It. No. You try it. Alright. I don't know how to do it. <laughs> you see? You see? Look at yeah, me. Yeah. Oh, oh. Look at me. I can't even do this. Yes, you can. They, they call me at home a windbag. Try Old windbag. Huh? Try it in your lap and you put all the booze inside. Yeah. Try it with her. Listen to her. Yeah. We're trying to blow a conch shot. I don't know how to do it. I can't whistle. Try it with her. Listen to her. Try it with her. Listen to her. Here's what I'm gonna do. I do this. I give you twenty dollars if you don't make me do that. You split it, all right? Okay. Okay, thank you. All right, here we go. Listen, don't let the booze go in there. Don't let the booze go in there. Put all the booze inside. I don't know how to do it. So which one you want? I can't blow them. I don't want any of them. Try this one. I already tried it. I know how to do it. You can try it. You 
can try it's again. Let's Try again. Hey, make the noise. So close them up. Close them. Try it. Try it. You see? You are mine. You keep our family. I'll have a thing. I think I should just get a small one for the daughter. Okay. Uh, I can't do it, I'm sorry. But you guys are good at that. No problem. I don't know how to do it. Is that one from Nemo or is that from Little Mermaid? Is that yours? Yes, that's mine. How much is that one? Ten dollars. I get that one. I can't pull the big one, I'm sorry. <laughs> There you go. Welcome, what's, your name? what's your name? My name is Angelina. Good to meet you. I'm Nick. Crack conch at the conch shack. Rice and peas and coleslaw on a windy day in Provo. Tastes like conch. Conch is just a little chewy no matter what. That's conch I write. Very good. Delicious breading on it. We're going to enjoy this. We'll see you soon. Those are the conks we just ate. Well, not those ones, but that's what everybody eats here. They clean them right there in front of you sometimes. Put all the shells out here all along the beach. Probably some bonefish one by there once in a while. We just finished up a delicious lunch at the conch shack. If you guys come to Provo, try it out. Here's all the shells there. We saw the live conch there. They're getting ready to clean. It is super windy. Hopefully it calms down some so it'll be a little easier to go fishing. But we're going to keep on moving and keep on checking out the island here. Right in here, a lot of times, bonefish, big bonefish come in, even though it's deep water. And they feed on that kind of bottom. That's bonefish bottom. But what would attract a big bonefish here is these conchs. All the parts of the conchs are not eating. Throwing it in. It acts like chum. Acts like chum. They come right down to the shoreline. Now, if I had my rods and had patience, put a couple of baits on that spot out there, might hook one. Yeah, might hook one. All right, so we just made it to Northwest Point Marine National Park. There's about, I don't know, five miles Four hundred miles on this little road. Only one car could fit in here. You cannot fish here, it says. It says there's a crime risk, and do not steal the sand. If you get fish caught, caught fishing, it could be fifty thousand dollars plus imprisonment. We ain't fishing here. We're just checking out and going to see it though. excursion going through a bunch of rocky roads you can see they're really bumpy somewhere even worse there's an abandoned car over here this is chalk sound we want to see it we're driving by pretty down there it's windy though probably bonefish in there check this car out it's abandoned i don't know if it broke down in a hurricane or if it got stuck or what but i mean everything is ripped out of it the tires are all off the headlights are bashed in all the windows and mirrors are bashed in. This is in rough shape. Abandoned, who knows how long it's been here. Who knows how long it's gonna be here for. I don't know what happened though. But we got more exploring to do, so we're gonna keep on going. A lot of glass, so be careful with the glass. Check the seat out of it in the back, it looks like. Look at those rocks. We're still exploring Provo today. Just came across some sailboats. They're blocked up on wood right here. Pretty amazing how they got these out of here. I assume a crane or something because there's not really a marine or a forklift here. That one's in pretty good shape, but some of these are really beat up. There's one down there that's completely flipped over upside down. And there was a bad hurricane here. I think like two years ago, maybe two, three, four, somewhere in there. I can't remember exactly which one it was, but there is some damage. Kind of cool to see this though. We're just driving around and we started coming here. Uh, 1999, so I was, was 14, I'm 36 now, so 22 years ago is the first time I was here. And just checking out the island, and some of the stuff's kind of hard to see, but a lot of stuff they're getting fixed up and building, so some stuff looks great.
Oh, no.